Hello friends, since Yukon is getting popular day by day, I thought it to be a good idea to create a video about Yukon. If you are aspiring to go to Canada or are already in Canada, this channel is for you. There are lots of wonderful videos coming up on this channel in the coming time. So consider subscribing. Today I'm going to tell you top 10 things that you must know about Yukon. It is going to be an interesting video. Make sure you watch till the end. Canada has 10 states and 3 territories and Yukon is Canada's westernmost as well as the smallest territory. It shares almost 1200 km long straight border with Alaska on the left. To give you an idea about the size of this territory, I must tell you that the Yukon is more than three times the size of England. Another example can be that you combine the total area of the state of Gujarat, Karnataka, Punjab and Haryana and that will give you one Yukon. According to Statistics Canada, the estimated population of this territory is around 41,000, out of which more than 60% of the people live in the capital city of Whitehorse only. Let's start the video with point number one, meaning of Yukon. The name Yukon originated from a local word which meant Great River. Yes, that Great River is none other than Yukon River, which flows across the territory into Alaska. The Yukon River is the longest river in Yukon and Alaska. Its overall length is 3185 kilometers while that of the Ganges in India is 2704 kilometers. In fact, any of the Indian rivers such as Yamuna, Indus, Brahmaputra, Godavari or Kaveri are smaller than the river Yukon. Point number 2. Weather conditions. In the capital city of Yukon, the summers are comfortable, the winters are icy cold and it snows a lot. And you will see clouds almost all year round. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from minus 18 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees. However, the lowest temperature recorded in Whitehorse was minus 52.2 degrees Celsius, set on January 31st, 1947. The record high temperature in Whitehorse was 34.4 degrees Celsius, set on June 14, 1969. Weather in the Yukon is dry. Winters might be a little bit cold, but they are not as harsh as they would be in the wet areas. On the other hand, in summers, the sun barely sets and people are full of life. If you are a tourist, the best time of the year to visit the White Horse for outdoor tourist activities is from late June to early August. Do you know that people in Yukon love winters? And to tell you why, I come to my next point, which is Northern Lights. The Arctic Circle crosses through the Yukon, meaning the Yukon is a fantastic place to spot the Northern Lights in the winter months. You can see the spectacular phenomena in Whitehorse itself. The best time is usually around midnight between late August and April. If you happen to be planning to see the Northern Lights in Yukon, take help of this forecasting website. Point number four, fireweed. You might be thinking, what's a fireweed? Friends, this is the official flower of the Yukon. This plant has a reputation of blessing you with the many health benefits and has a lot of medicinal value. Point number five, the infamous gold rush. My dear friends, prospectors are the people who search for minerals by digging and excavating. In 1896, prospectors found gold near Dawson City in Yukon. When news started to spread, more than 100,000 prospectors went there in search for gold. This event became known as the Klondike Gold Rush. As a consequence, Dawson City's population suddenly increased from 200 to around 40,000. Point number six, White Horse. White Horse is the largest city in Northern Canada and also the capital of Yukon. The name Whitehorse came from the foam-like top white part of the fast-flowing and turbulent part of the Whitehorse River, which looked like the long-flowing hair of white horses. Whitehorse, the capital city, has all the conveniences of a larger city, despite its small population. Immigration today is mainly to the capital city of the Whitehorse. The Yukon River flows through the center of the town. The closest big city is Edmonton, which is almost 2,000 kilometers away. Whitehorse is also the driest city in Canada. Number 7. The Famous Yukon Quest The Yukon Quest is known as one of the toughest dog sled races in the world. It is a 1600 km sled dog race that begins in Whitehorse and ends in Fairbanks, Alaska. The event takes place every winter in February and usually runs for 10 to 16 days until the last team crosses the finish line. Do you know where the highest mountain of Canada is located? Yes, that brings us to the next point. Mount Logan is the highest mountain in Canada and the second highest peak in North America after Denali. It has an elevation of 5,959 meters, which is almost 63% of the height of Mount Everest. Point number nine, economy. The Yukon Territory's economy is taken over by the mining of 
lead, zinc, copper and gold. The biggest employer in the territory is the government, due to which the job market is relatively secure. Because of the fact that Yukon is sheer nature and beauty, tourism plays an important part of the economy. Unemployment in Whitehorse currently sits at around 4.9%, but varies. The cost of living in Whitehorse is generally higher than in certain Canadian communities. Average family yearly income in the Yukon is high, which makes it possible to maintain a high standard of living that people in other parts of the Canada enjoy. Majority of Yukon's economy is seasonal. Also, the Yukon has no territorial sales tax and the minimum wage is currently $13.71 per hour. Last point of the video, education. Throughout Canada, all citizens and permanent residents under the age of 20 are entitled to secondary school education free of cost. The Yukon schools follow the curriculum developed by the province of British Columbia. Also, the Yukon has one post-secondary institution as well, Yukon University, which is located in Whitehorse. So if you ask the people of Yukon to describe it, they'll probably say larger than life. And that is what Yukon is all about. Tell me in the comments box what kind of videos would you like to see in future and I will try to create those videos. You are watching Young Students Abroad. My name is Yogesh and I will see you in the next video.